Hey guys, Cody here, KIG Outdoors, and today I'm out here starting a new series. That's right, every Friday I plan on starting a new series that I call Hunting Ideas. That's right, don't laugh. That's, you know it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. So these Hunting Ideas will uh, basically just consist of uh, DIY things. These aren't things that I necessarily thought up of myself. These are things that I have seen on other YouTube channels, read on the internet, you know, just things that I thought were really clever, really neat, simple, and man, they've got to work. So the whole purpose of this hunting idea is, is to get other hunters familiar with these hunting hacks. Um, some of them are really simple. Some, some of them you might think don't work, and some of them are pretty, pretty daggone good. So I'm going to probably run about... I'm gonna try 12 episodes right now. I've only got seven ideas, but if you have an idea, drop it down below, leave a comment, and um, maybe I can uh, put together your hunting idea and put it on uh, KIG Outdoors. But in episode one today, we're gonna do something very, very simple. And a lot of you have probably already seen this, but it's it's so easy that I don't know why you would even go to Cabela's and buy this. Um, Basically, you're taking two eyelets, a bolt, a washer, and a nut, and you're making a DIY trail camera mount for a, for a tree. This will screw into the tree. It does position in multiple ways or multiple angles so that you can get on that corn pile and uh, get that picture of that big buck that you've been wanting. So this should cost you around two dollars and fifty five cents i actually went to tractor supply that is a local feed store slash whatever you want to call them and uh, picked up all the hardware that i needed i have a receipt over there i actually made two of these and uh, we'll go over something that will actually raise the price of this if you desire and it's just a simple wing nut but i couldn't believe how much a wing nut was but uh, two eye hooks, a bolt, a washer, two washers, and a nut. And you've got yourself a DIY screw-in tree mount. So we'll go ahead and go through this real quick. We'll assemble it. We'll go ahead and mount it. And uh, that'll be your first hunting idea. So let's get it. First thing is, is I have a two-inch, what I call an eye. This is what I call an eye bolt with lag threads. Um, so I think some of them call them swivels. I, you know, I don't know, whatever. But this is a number four. Next you'll need is a uh, another eye bolt, but you need to have quarter inch threads on it. This one's actually two inches long. This is the part that I actually screw into your camera. Almost all cameras these days have a screw in insert for a quarter inch threaded, whatever you want to put in there, some of them tripods. Cabela sells uh, a screw in tree mount. I think it's $10. I mean, they're not the only ones, but everybody sells them. $10 when you can make one for two dollars and fifty cents so this is where I'm going at with the hunting ideas just trying to save some money trying to you know help the average hunter out so we'll go ahead and put it together so first I'll take your bolt and this is a uh, what they would call an inch bolt it doesn't really have to it can be longer it doesn't matter as long as you can get long as it's threaded and it sticks out the other side so this is an inch I went ahead and put a washer on there it's three eighths slide it through doesn't matter which order that you put the eye bolts in put the other one on add the washer add the nut now one thing about this is is it may require you to have some tools on hand um, maybe a pair of pliers two crescent wrenches two nine sixteenths whatever it may be but this is a one-time kind of deal set it up tighten it up get it where you want it and you don't have to really adjust it again you know that it's going to be secured to the tree now, one thing that I want to go over real quick is, is I talked earlier about how you can modify this even more. Um, you can get fancy with this. And what I mean fancy is you can add another dollar to it. So the reason I'm making such a big deal about this is this wing nut. I really wanted to be able to have a wing nut and be able to adjust this out in the field, not have any tools. Well, it cost you another dollar and a welder. But So what, uh, what, I, what I've come up here with, come up with is um, basically I've welded one eye bolt to the nut or to the bolt and just replace the nut with a wing nut so now that it is fully adjustable now this is three dollars and fifty eight cents um ain't gonna break the bank but it's just as simple as bringing two pliers with you and tightening it up one time and be done but so we'll go ahead and get this installed in the tree and uh 
get this camera set up. So my corn pile is, is directly underneath the camera right now. And I kind of want this to be somewhere around six foot. This is a 180 camera. I want to catch this trail coming down through here. I want to catch this trail that's coming down through here. I've got a creek bed down in here, or actually a flowing creek right here. And I want to catch all the angles that I can. So I'm probably going to put this about six foot high and uh, we'll go from there. Now I went ahead and started this uh, lag bolt just for time purposes. Be prepared, if the tree is green, it will be hard to get it in there. So maybe bring you a nail, bring you something out here, get you a hole started and uh, make it easier on yourself because uh, I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't the easiest thing to get started. So I'm gonna put my camera right about there. Now, go ahead and loosen the nut up, tighten the nut back up so that you can put the trail camera on there. And it's as simple as screwing it on. Go ahead and adjust it. Now I'm gonna leave this loose just for the minute as I talk about it. One good thing about this is that you have two rotations. You can uh, loosen the nut up underneath, tilt this camera whatever which way you want. Also loosen the actual nut up and physically go up and down with it. So I'm probably gonna put mine Somewhere in the ballpark of right there. And uh, guys, it's that simple. Blends in nice. This is all stainless. It won't rust unless you weld it. Then the weld will rust. But guys, for $2.50, it's a no-brainer. What a cheap and easy ideal, guys. I mean, it is literally what you see in front of you is what it is. It's $2.50 or $3.50. Now, I know I did put a wing nut on this one. That was my choice. I decided to get, you know, spend the money and uh, make this where I could adjust it out here and not really have to have any tools other than maybe a pair of pliers to tighten the, the nut up on the camera. But one thing I want to go over real quick is I said that I welded this and the reason I did that is so that it would hold tight so I could just twist the wing nut. When I mean weld, I mean I had somebody weld it for me. So don't let, you know, that stop you. It doesn't have to be welded, guys. You can use JB Weld, fill up the eye bolt where the bolt comes through the eye bolt and it should work just just fine some kind of uh he's you know some kind of adhesive or uh substance like that should should work just fine this is not holding the world it's only holding the trail camera so don't don't let that stop you but like i said guys not my ideal but that's what's driving hunting ideas um i want to get these little just these little ideals that make hunting so much easier out there cheaper easier more effective and uh you know just share them with everybody. Anybody who watches KIG Outdoors will know, hey, I can make a, a cheap and easy trail camera mount. So, guys, that's all I got. If you're all new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure uh, you come back for next Friday. Turn the little bell notification on. That way you know when I post a video. I plan on posting a hunting idea every Friday. I'm not going to give a time because I got kids. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, if I get it up by 12 o'clock at night, watch it Saturday morning, guys. But anyway. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if y'all have any ideals or any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. And I'd really like to know if y'all have any good ideals. I mean, anything y'all want to share, more power to you. I will try my hardest to uh, either make it or demonstrate it the best I can. And hopefully I do a good job of it. But uh, like I said, guys, thank you all for stopping by and we'll catch you the next time.